Welcome to another episode of uh, WWE 2K22. From Queens, New York, weighing in at 379. Fucking bullshit. I just crashed. I just finished this, won this match, and the game crashed. His athleticism and power from after the match with expert tutelage from HBK and Road Dog has created a fierce competitor. Lost all of the content. I had a, a great one-on-one uh, -on -one with Baron Corbin where I bloodied him up good. He bloodied me up too. I beat uh, Kofi Kingston. I beat. Uh, I can't even remember. I was right at about uh, 45 minutes into the session. I was going to wrap it up at the conclusion of this match, which I won. And then at the end of this match, the game crashed. I lost all the content. It did save previous to this. This is why we started here in the middle of it. But all of the previous the footage was all gone. The PlayStation, when the game crashes, the PlayStation does not save Welcome current content, which sucks, because it should. And it should be considered stopping the recording, because I had some good footage, pounds, Jimmy. especially that Baron Corbin match. It was a no-DQ hey, match, and I found a steel scepter under the ring, and I beat the piss have. out of him. He was a bloody mess, but so was I, because he got it and used it on me, too. That was good. That was good footage, but it's all gone. Game crashed. Everything in the video is gone. The, the game itself saved before this match, but none of the footage Jimmy and Jay saved, have which sucks. At the table with Roman Reigns. You would figure Who if the game crashes, has Roman any recording and Jay Uso better, or has Roman would be stopped. Divided the Usos? I get it though, it ends abruptly, it doesn't get a chance to save properly. All that footage, great footage, all of it lost. Thanks, 2K. Fucking waste of time. I guess uh, this means the conspiracy's continuing. They never stop with this guy. I heard it. No. I already watched all of these guys. I watched these the first time. Gentlemen, welcome to the Palace of Wisdom. Hate doing the same thing Here twice. Comes Cesaro. The last match, when we did this the first time, I eliminated Cesaro just about instant, instantly. Kind of Chaos reigns supreme. Even the most seasoned superstar can fall victim to the numbers game. There goes Morrison. Morrison's out. Yep, very good. He's out. Uncorks a thunderous chop. And he stonewalls Cesaro there. And out of the ring he goes. There goes Cesaro. I just eliminated two people in a minute. I don't understand a lot of these meters. Oh, you're gonna come after me, bitch? Fucking thinking about you come after me like that. I wasn't fucking with you. I was going to a corner to take a break. Okay, 
impacts a well-placed punch. Short clothesline hits its mark. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Well, that's one way to leap. And we have our winners. All right, see if it crashes this time. That was much easier than the first time. Here is your winner, the assassin, Ricky Lee. Grabbing the Hope win this one is a serious accomplishment. This victory is exactly the kind of statement I knew he wanted to make here. This was a message from him to the entire WWE Universe. All right, this is where it crashed last time. All that wasted footage. That match with Baron Corbin was great. I had a few other ones, too. I had four or five matches. Lost them all. All right, this one looks like at least it. Who knows? That's so annoying. That was like 45 minutes, 50 minutes of good content. Down the toilet. All right, I got 25 points, 6,900 fans, and 5% to arm power, which will help those big blows. What? The decisions you made during this storyline have changed your alignment. How? It said, did I want to be a, a, a good guy? I said, no. Now I have 88,000 fans. I don't understand this at all. I did not want to be a good guy. I want to be the most hated villain of all time, you fucks. See, the crash had something to do with that, I'm sure. All right, submission goes up one. We don't have enough to do the defense, but that's okay. Still an 88 overall. These people keep doing good stuff, but let's let's go to a different location. Let's go to the pool hall and see what's going on. Now that I'm a good guy. I don't know what decisions I made that made me uh, be a good guy. It said, do you want to change? And I said, no. No, 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 no. I would have to say that's a pretty big flaw or glitch or whatever you want to call it. Or maybe your decision just doesn't matter. Maybe the storyline says what it says and dictates what's going to happen and what you have for input doesn't matter at all. Oh, this fuckhead. Who else is here? Dana Brooke. What's up, Dana? Drew Gulak. All right. Let's see. What do you want? Mouth. But wait a minute. Let's let's see the social media. Excellent battle royal match. Superstars. But more importantly, a record amount raised for local charities. <clears throat> okay. Yep, see this guy? You didn't hear this from me, but sometimes to get ahead in this business, you have to switch things up. Yeah, I will change. I want to be a bad guy. I don't want to feel good. I want to feel evil. 7,000 fans. Two upgrade points. Well, that's not a... That's not a real big reward. So I've been a bad guy this whole time. I turn face 
for five minutes, and then I'm turning back to a bad guy again. The end result is all we need. I don't know what's going this on. This superstar looks determined tonight. Who the hell is that? Whoa, from behind. Why is he walking in the parking lot fully dressed like that? Settle this right now. Corey, how important is it for a superstar to use their surroundings to their advantage? It's vital. Since there are no rules, anything can be used as a weapon against your opponent. Anything can be used in an attack when an individual is driven by malice and fueled by rage. It's a battle of attrition. Adrenaline makes you do crazy things. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> what impact! Right in the kisser. Not enough as far as I'm concerned. Staved off that attack. Knee right to the face. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Oh, man. Arm trapped. Just unloading knees to the body. Kick lands. Oh, I get off of this. able to counter. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, right to the side of the face. That's right. You want to put another chair in play, though? Here you go. Face first into the chair. Really? It looked like him in the nuts. Great counter. You want another one? Boom on the jaw. Metalik able to avoid impact. What a spin kick! Oh, what a chop! He saw it coming, taking advantage! Rights and lefts, elbows, Love that knees, move. all of them lethal! <laughs> Left foot hospital, right foot graveyard! <laughs> Metalik isn't looking good as he stirs back up. Up into the torture rack. Feast your eyes. I don't know what uh, what the end game is here. Oof. Carefully measured knee drop. That's what I've been trying to do for the last couple of sessions. Knee drop. And so he's I guess already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Gonna be a little bit Knee away, drop. I guess. Nasty. So precise. He's bleeding through the mask. I don't know what the end game is here. There's no pin, obviously. Able to reverse. Yeah. Oh, what a drop kick on the mark. And he had Metalik's number there. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Hoist it up. Feast your up. Okay, so I just, I guess you just got to beat the living shit out of him until he's just about dead. Okay. So now I'm a bad guy again. We think. All right, gained more fans. Two point, the decision's made, and I'm a bad guy again. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I have enough. Nope, I need 22. I got 21. And suddenly I'm back at the hotel. Okay. A brand new and shocking attitude from Ricky Lee. Watch out. Looks like someone's change of heart comes with him. He's been a bad guy the whole time. Stupid. See, again, there was no message saying I had a DM. 
Mandy Rose wants to trade. No. No, 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 no. All right, so there's nothing else going on here at the hotel. The uh, pool hall, that was a very small reward. So let's go to the GM's office and see what's going on there. Still can't believe we lost all that footage. Uh, yeah, he can believe it. Games had crashes after crashes. What's up, Adam? Uh oh. There's that lady from the performance center. We're at 95,000 fans now. Corey Klein. Okay, nobody else is here. Let's see what she wants. Somehow, complaints about you stealing and hiding Drew Gulak's boots in every arena have reached me. This is so not what I signed up for. Can you please just settle whatever dispute you have in the ring? Well, that's kind of stupid, but okay. We'll get an upgrade out of it. Seven thousand more fans. I don't know if the fans, certain numbers of fans, give you certain bonuses or not. I'm not really sure how that works, but we'll get the points. We'll get another upgrade. So <clears throat> I take his boots and I hide his boots. Not the most adult thing to do. I mean, if I was going to take his boots, I'd put them on and wear them out to the ring so we knew where they went. <laughs> and here comes one of our favorites. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Queens, New York. Weighing in at 379 pounds. The Assassin, Ricky. Lee. After an illustrious football career through college, this athlete couldn't fit in with a team that best suited his style of play. He felt like a man without a country until he arrived at the Performance Center where he found a new purpose as a competitor. A man without a country? Shut the fuck up. Right there, he looked like a man without an eye. <laughs> Here comes the technical Terminator. A physical reckoning. And a consummate technician. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Gulak has a mean streak and always looks like he's on a mission. He's a submission innovator, Byron. Has he ever cornered you in the locker room area once? Yeah, he got me, too. Most miserable experience of my life. No doubt, though, that he can get it done in the ring. Byron, you probably love Gulak and all his great presentations, right? Well, I've always loved PowerPoint presentations growing up, so Drew Gulak brings me back to my childhood. Back in your day, they used microfish. That's just a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> this superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's going to happen yep, when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone looking to take his head off? All I can say is we've seen adrenaline take this superstar very far in the past. And what can you say about Drew Gulak? Other that that than move a man who has dedicated his entire fails life to mastering a high percentage wrestling. of the he's time. He's a no-frills competitor who is all about substance in the ring. Even oh, the oh, 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 that was badass. Is staggering. But I don't know how I did that. Line for wrestling that makes him a constant threat to any superstar that crosses his path. I don't know how I did that. Really, just laying it in. 
Reversal from Gulak. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh, look at these kicks. Ooh. Wow. And all of Gulak's in-ring knowledge couldn't get him out of harm's way there. Oh, that missed. Oh. He's positioning himself, closing in. Countered it just in time. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Uh-oh. Oh, and that buys some time. Ooh, harsh kick. Oh, perfect kick. Oh, it's, oh my goodness. The knee right to the gut. Sight set on the top rope. Perched up top. Nah. He saves himself. Arm breaker. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. He must have seen that coming. Knee oh. right to the face. <laughs> oh, what a punch. Yeah, here we go. The boot. Gulak's locked in the crosshairs now. We have the boot. Give me them boots, bitch. The and this one is over. Here is your winner, the assassin, Ricky Lee. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Yeah. Pretty one sided match. That is for sure. Yep. Now I'll take his boots and I'll wear them into the ring. No point in hiding them. Because he ain't coming back for more. Alright, very good. We should get another bump here. Defense. Alright. Oh, and I got another one. So, resilience. Very good. That puts my overall up to 90. Okay. All right. I'm still here at the hotel. Nothing going on here. Now we have notification. No. I don't want to go anywhere. I understand that you want to give the player the opportunity to switch. But enough is enough. Oh, look at this. I need my boots. I don't like looking at my feet. Well, just a minute ago, I had you looking at the lights. What do you think about that? 103,000 fans now. All right, so uh, let's go back to the... Uh, Let's go back to the GM's office. That had a better reward. All right. What's up, Adam? You're the only one left in here, so what you got hey, for me? Did you hear about Jimmy Uso's injury? 
Did I give it to him? Nope, we're bad guys, so we don't care. Yeah, but what does that have to do with me? Now his wife Naomi needs a new partner in the Mixed Match Challenge Tournament. Oh no. As a reminder, the winners get to be co-GMs of SmackDown for one night. So are you interested in taking his place? Why would I want to do that shit? We'll do it. GM for the night? <laughs> yeah, I'm in. All right, I'll make it official. And you should probably go talk to your new partner when you get a chance. All right, we'll get 15 points, 6,900. If I'm the GM, maybe I can make myself have a title match. Yeah, maybe we can do that. Because we've been... I don't think we lost since coming on SmackDown, so... I don't think we lost since did started the My Rise at all. What's up, Naomi? What's up, new partner? <laughs> so you heard, huh? Yep. I was pretty bummed when Jimmy went down, but we can still make the best out of a bad situation. Where are we at in the standings? I haven't been following the Mixed Match Challenge too closely. Don't lie, we haven't been following it at all. Seriously? Come on, man. There's no time to play catch up. The playoffs are about to start and we gotta face Miz and Maurice. Okay, okay, I got it. You better not screw this up for me. I have big plans for when I'm GM for the night. I wanna be GM too, so don't worry. I'll hold up my end of the deal. I don't know how these things work. I have not seen one of these. Do you, uh, does the male go in against the female? Or do they have to switch? Thanks for the words of encouragement. Yeah, I don't know how these work. I don't watch all that much wrestling anymore. AEW is pretty good. I watch that every once in a while. I watch WWE every once in a while, but nothing like I used to back in the day. Now, this is a team I never expected. The Neither did we. Is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 504 pounds. The assassin, Ricky Lee and Naomi. She may be smiling right now, but I heard she was really disappointed to hear this guy was her teammate. Blatant lies, Saxton. Fake really? news. Who are your sources? She's right better now? off with me as her teammate than her husband. believe that the wwe universe is not fond of these two i am i like the miz and their opponents at a combined weight of 337 pounds the miz Looks good. I did get on her. Miz looks good too. By any means necessary, they might be on the same. They did good with them. This match, but will they be at the end? Uh, how dare you foreshadow any wedge coming between these two? You are looking at some of the most honorable superstars in WWE. That's a cool jacket. I 
All right, not really sure how this works, so we'll just beat the shit out of whoever's in front of us. If they allow. The mixed match challenges Naomi and her replacement partner take on the it couple, Miz and Maurice. Difficult task to step in and team together for the first time at this stage, let alone against opponents who know each other so well. Uh, yeah, Miz and Maurice are married, Saxton, so I'd say they know each other very well. It's going to be an uphill battle to defeat them and advance. Oh, what a four. Ricky Lee can unleash that spinning yeah. punch. At any Man, time with no notice. Right now. And he said, You're not getting me with that this time. Talk about rocking the jaw. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Whoa! A well timed dodge. Great counter by the Miz. He tags out, which means it's now time for the women to compete. Yeah, okay, so I have to go out automatically. All right, and I am her. Uh, that hurt. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy the shit. Athleticism being shown here. In the cover. And for some reason, she stops the count. Yeah, for some reason. Maurice is out of the way. Ah, drop kick. Right on the money. Maurice's hopes are waning. Yeah, Naomi's at full throw. We didn't stop the count. The referee did. Are taking over. Tossed into the corner. With the reversal. Strong kick. My goodness. And then he it up with a big one in the face. Come on now. No, that just ain't right. Stop it. Maurice is being stalked. Dangerous situation. She releases the hold. That's Why? a little surprise. She's going for it. Letting her out of the pinning predicament. Why? She might just be toying with her at this point. And Naomi has taken the upper hand. Maurice needs to find an opening fast. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Oh, a step up in Zagari. Jesus. A slap. This is beating the snot out of her. Naomi finds her target with that one. For the win. Come on, Ricky, get over there. Keep him away from me. Wow, Corey, what do you think of this decision? I like it a lot. Corey. Why? She why? Clearly wants to inflict even. Can she do it here? to see that he's absorbing some tough hits now this is what the purpose of a tag why do they is. keep Don't be stopping the count the resources and help your partner offers sunset flip applied not done there there it is it is it's locked in man she's got a lot of heart and a, lot a win via submission it's the first time i've got somebody to submit what a way to end this mixed tag match
now that was the best of both worlds. What a fun mixed tag match. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. That was alright, I guess. God damn, we beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Not much of a challenge there. I expected Maurice to bring a little more to the table. Oh, Jesus, shut up. So, Paragon again. All right. Okay. And we'll make this the last match of the session. So when the female comes in, the other female has to come in. When the male, then they tag, the male comes in, the other male has to come in. I get it. I've never actually seen one of those matches. Now this is an odd couple. It's a championship couple. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 504 pounds, the assassin, Ricky Lee and Naomi. You always have to be careful with a pairing like this. You don't really know what level of sportsmanship to expect in the match. Yeah, I've had a bad feeling that he'll be a negative influence on her. You shouldn't expect any. Ricky's out here to do whatever it takes to win. Get ready for a show. It's Paragon J. Pierce. He, oh. Paragon, the mouth. And from Arlington, Virginia, weighing in at 235 pounds, Paragon J. Pierce. Look at this confidence. Nobody in WWE is as comfortable walking to the ring as Paragon J. Pierce. Well, let's see if he's as comfortable when he actually has to fight. Yeah, when he sees who's in the ring across him, he's not going to be so comfortable. I've been whooping his ass all over the Pay world. Attention, Saxton. You might learn a few things from Paragon here. Starting with that match in Japan. Straight from Calgary, it's Josie Jane. So how come we came down together and they didn't come down together? And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Josie J. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Josie J looks like she's about to bring the pain. Let's go, Mouth. I haven't forgotten about As you. As the semifinal match gets underway, I'm still somewhat surprised to see Naomi and her replacement partner have advanced this far. They've won one match, Cole. I think their luck ends tonight against Josie Jane and Paragon J. Pierce. Well, I know Jimmy Uso is home pulling for the underdogs, and hey, so am I. A Cinderella run like this is what makes tournaments so great. Rolling elbow. Busted him wide open. He's lost some of his win now. What makes he's it lost great some of his blood, too. Knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. 
No love lost between these two. At all. In the midsection. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Man, strikes. Wow. Avoiding contact. Brutal knee right All right, right he got me. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh, the jaw getting rattled. I don't really know what happened there. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Knee right to the face. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just strike it at will. It just keeps going. Good night. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Will it be? And the count stopped short of two. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Oh, running knee strike. That was a little weird. Down a demoralized He's a cover. Uh, they, Come on. They can't win this way. And it could. Able to give him the slip. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Booming oh. boot. <laughs> Pierce is stumbling into the line of fire. All right, Naomi, get ready. Ah, you oh, son man. of a bitch. How's that for a count? We're about to finish that. Oh. Yeah. Maybe if Naomi was paying attention. Strikes with a kick. It could have been. Oh, and a reversal. He's got him scouted. Wow. Here's the combo of strikes. Oh, my God. Cinches up the arm and it. Oh, what a kick. Oh, and no. That one scouted. He gets the tag, and that means his opponent has to switch with his partner, too. Pussy. Kick. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Naomi put a stop to that. And a kick. I don't think that made contact. That did. Up and boom. Knee drop right on target. Yeah, that's a pretty badass move. Well, I think the best move here is to tag out. She tags out, so now it's the men one on one. Yeah, bring him back in here. Oh, right to the gut. Because he's saw that one coming. Getting him into the corner. Oh, look at the kick. It's about done. Boom, three. Stuck in the tree of woe. No escape in sight. Set up in a tree of woe, driving those knees into the abdomen. Was mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, right to the gut. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Get ready, Naomi. Get over there. Keep her busy. Oh, gosh. The cover. Broke 
broken up. And the match continues. Jesus. <laughs> what? Well, As apparently. This final match gets underway. I'm still somewhat surprised to see Naomi and a replacement partner have advanced this far. They've won one match, Cole. I think their luck ends tonight against Josie Jane and Paragon. Apparently, Jane the men the cannot hit the woman. The underdogs, and hey, so am I. A Cinderella run like this is what makes tournaments so great. Reversal on top of reversal. That will get your attention. Ooh, well measured. I think that's bullshit. If she if she wants to come in the oh, ring. Well scouted. Way to steer clear. Now he's been put on the defensive. Right now he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here, or I'm going to answer this call and pay him back. A series of kicks in the corner. I think if she wants to come in the ring and join the action, if she takes a shot, she takes a shot. No big deal. Bang, nice contact there. Was mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Give her a nice boot to the face. <laughs> Bruising attack to the stomach. Boom, what a kick. Shoulders are down. Cover here. Oh, this, look at this is blatant cheating. Hit the ropes. Oh, what a knee strike. He's able to fend off the attack. Caught square by the haymaker. Into the corner now. Uh-oh, not a good place to be. And it follows it up with a big one in the face. And Pierce is on the downside of things right now. Can Pierce recover from this adversity? Oh, kick right in the face. Hit the mark with that one. Just one step ahead. Oh, I need right to the oh. face. That knee is a oh. lethal weapon. That backfired on me. All right. It's all right. Yeah, very nice. Combo! All right. And now the tag resets the action as the Bring men him get back set in. to do battle. Yeah. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Oh, oh. connects. Thought I had that. Stop to finish it off. Pierce is stumbling into the line of fire. Up and down the hard way. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Cover. What? There we go. He picks up the win. All right, that time we got him. A big victory for both him and her. We're they the champions. You know, you know, and I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. No, it's not something that's going to continue. But we're the champions, you know, you should say. And new champions, mixed match, whatever the fuck it is. All right, let's see what's coming up next. That's going to be it. We're going to wrap up this session. We'll see what's planned next. I thought that was the... Uh... <laughs> Get a room. All right, so uh, all right, we're gonna call that 
a session. I thought that was the finals. But apparently it was not, and that's fine. That's okay. All right, so uh, I'm running out of time here, so we're going to call that a session for now. I uh, thank you for joining me in the second video. First one that actually counts because we lost the first one. Sons of bitches. So uh, if you liked the video and you saw some cool stuff, make sure you uh, drop a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I got a ton of stuff coming up. Uh, a lot more My Rise. We got Universe coming up. Um, maybe eventually we'll give Showcase a try again, too. So I uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, hope you had fun and have a great day.